I'm Amina Sadrati. I'm Sarate, and we're both in the show, um, Is the Hair Under There? It's a story of eight young Muslim women living in London. We started off with um, all of us coming together in August 2016, and we were given topics to talk about from um, happiness to joy to hijab to it's just Islam, anything general. And we just began talking about it into a recorder. The recorder was then taken out and then made into scripts, which we then made into a play. And it's just our stories and what, what it is to be like day in the life of a Muslim girl and our perspectives and just our beliefs and stuff. I think your faith impacts you in, in like ways that we don't realise, like we'll use certain phrases in certain situations and then we're like mentioning God's name or you know God willing or even just like the headscarf that impacts us because it's something that we do every day, it's like a routine for us but it's still like a representation of our faith. Other people think. Other people definitely think. Definitely think. But then you can't blame other people for thinking that because it's the immediate thing that you see is our headscarf or our dress. That's the first thing you see, so it's the first like introduction to us. But we don't say our faith defines us because we're, we're more than just Muslim girls living in London. We're so different. We have different ideas, different dreams, different aspirations, different personalities really. So we're, we're all very, very different. And obviously, I don't. I wouldn't blame anyone that yeah. thinks that our faith defines us because there's a lot of um, stereotypes nowadays in the media. And the thing is, with the media, they're very smart, mm -hmm. and they'll do anything to make profits and sales. And obviously, if it's more, the more controversial, the better. And but, if you're seeing that every yeah. day, that's the first thing you see. That's the only thing you see of Muslims. So I wouldn't. Yeah. That's obviously what they would think. So I would. I don't blame them at all. Like anyone that thinks our faith defines us, yeah, I don't blame them. But then that's why I think it's great about the play because it shows what we, what we really are. Like it's a true like, and we it sort of it, it helped us discover who we really are as well when we were making the play because we were like oh this is what we do these are our benefits this is what we can bring to something. Definitely. Yes. Even yeah. like if I go to like my home country, um, I wouldn't be seen the way I'm seen here. Mm -hmm. They'll see me there as oh my gosh she's either dressed less or like no one wears their scarf like this in my country so it's like what's she doing mm -hmm. should i be worried should i go advise her or something like that i think the muslim community there's like a thing that people think you know we think we're like the best community ever like no there's a lot of issues within the muslim community in terms of like racism and discrimination so there's a lot of um, misconceptions in the muslim community about other cultures so, which is very wrong because yeah. in Islam, there's we have a teaching that basically tells us that we should we're allowed to like because there's a big problem especially with and with my like mum and dad because they're more traditional. But in Islam, Islamically, you're supposed to you're allowed to marry from different cultures mm -hmm. and learn about different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. It's there shouldn't be a problem with race. And there's culture. a certain like quote that says no Arab is better than a non-Arab and no non-Arab is better than an Arab. And it's the sort of thing that that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be accepting of other cultures and other really other other cultures within our within our Muslim community. But a lot of Muslims nowadays they don't accept it at all. I think it's quite funny. It is. I always get someone saying that we're, we're going to liberate you. And you don't have to wear the headscarf. But it's if society thinks that one piece of clothing can change how I. I'm viewed for a job or in a school or in a situation that shows how you're really oppressed. That's your that you're but you're the one that's oppressed because I'm fine. And the fact that we have to that we have to dress a certain way to get a certain job or something, it's it's so sad because why can't you just look at who what I what I am, who what I've done instead of what I'm wearing? So you're gonna base how I how I make how I work how I live my life on a piece of clothing where they will have to wake up and say, let me put on a nice skirt and high heels and lip gloss or something to get this job. Why don't you just look at my credentials? I hope there's more actually. Yeah. I hope there's more. Well, there's to be Definitely. more because it's not like, it's it's a story that is so, like, it's personal to us. It's really personal. It's We're original. Telling, it's really original. We're telling our own stories and yeah. I'm not just saying that. It's not a typical story about Muslim young girls like than you would expect it to be. We see everything we see on the TV shows or in the newspapers or anything. It's just 
ridiculous and really negative in some ways. I think that's a really positive like view of who we actually are. We just don't want it to stop because it's so original and rare. You get to see my face. <laughs> now, because I think it's very educational, yeah. um, and at the same time, it will make a lot of people realise that oh, they're normal. They are normal. A lot of what we have in the play is really unexpected. It's definitely not going to be what you would believe it's going to be. Like these are real stories. There's comedy. Like, you know, there's humour. There's laughs. There's everything. But then there's the deep. There's the deep topics that we do talk about that go in our communities that a lot of people are not aware of. So we talk about a lot of things that impact us as not just young British individuals, but we're young British Muslim women that's showing all of our stories and a lot of stories that we think a lot of other Muslim girls do have, but they are they don't get the chance to talk about it and talk 